Hello, hello, hello. Check, check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of Straight Gas Radio. We are here. It is I, Spicy Sugar, and in the building with me is, as always, Mathematics. Uh, We are here at S Street Media and 905FM.net. Hello, Queens, Brooklyn, and Manhattan. Peace, peace, peace. Um, you know, I was doing the technical side while she was introducing us. Check this out. Now you got to do your thing. Check this out. <laughs> peace, peace, peace. I got to get, you know, I'm getting an order, order, um, sounding stuff correctly. Peace, 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 peace. So I don't sound crazy, sound over you. I want us to sound equal and balanced. Peace to the gods and earth's and all the positive people in the universe. Yes. My name is Mathematics. That's Spicy Sugar. Mm-hmm. And there's no Drew Babes no more on the, on the ones and twos. Now we got Shadow Bitch. DJ Shadow Bitch on the ones and twos. And we're Straight Guys Radio presented to you by S Street Media and 905. Yes. You already know, man. How you doing, Queen? I'm ho- I'm hanging in there, hanging in there during this coronavirus. Shit is real. You scared? No, nah, I'm not scared. You scared? You can't be scared and have faith, so. Man, don't don't be scared, man, because um, first of all, you know that stress will fucking knock knock your motherfucking immune system down. That is your number one combative soldier in the game right now. True indeed. So you got to stay in the right mind, st- um, the the correct mind state. Yeah. You know what I mean? To battle anything. To battle anything. You can catch us live every Friday morning from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. And if you miss us on the radio, you can catch that um archive episode on our S Street Media U Stream page. And you could do that by going to www. Ustream.tv, or you can type, type and make sure you type S space street space media into the search engine and you'll find every straight gas radio episode that's there. But you can also catch us on 905 FM. Yeah. When do we come on? I don't know, but shout out to DJ Dr. B and DJ Carrie Magic. Oh, yes, pardon me because I forgot that part of, um, of our <laughs> intro. <laughs> I forgot that part of the intro. It's been a while since we did straight gas radio shit. You know what I mean? We back on. Yes, we are. Live and direct. Right to you, even during the virus. <laughs> Yo, not to laugh at the, at the seriousness of what's going on, but sometimes you got to laugh. Laugh is good, good for the soul, and it's good for your immune system again. Yes, it's all about strengthening your immune system right now, people. Yo, um, so last time we was on, we had um AJ Lee in the building, we yes. had Tweed in the building, and yeah. we had Rod from Get Fed Records. That's right. Yo, shout out to them for coming doing our first um straight gas radio um yes, and i return yeah i come back i yeah, I'll come back. I'll return mm-hmm. so um thank you for being um thank you thanks to them yes. for being on our show now it was just us two yes the 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 originators the founders of yes. this thing but that was a great opener we had a three hour episode and um we talked about a lot of good stuff, so. And we got a lot of, uh, I'm going to say, we did some good views. We got like 30 plus views on Ustream. We're going to drop it on um, anchor.fm soon. Yes. But I want us to get some episodes through before we throw it up there. Yes. And um, Anchor FM, that will be, you can listen to us. It will be our audio. And we'll be on other uh, streaming Platforms. Search engines and platforms um, like Spotify, Apple Music, Google Podcasts, Google Podcasts, things like that. That's a fact. Um, so, you know, last week we was here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we came on before you did the yo-yo video. Yeah. I mean, the yo-yo interview. interview. Yes. So, 
let's let's talk about that. You did a um interview with the queen of hip hop, especially the Cali side. Yes. Miss Yo Yo. Yes, I did an interview on the House of Hip Hop. Um, the, uh, my latest episode. We did a call in uh, with, you know, the best from the West. As she says, uh, yo, yo. And we had a great talk. We talked about everything from, you know, her being a legend in the game to her being a new grandma. Like, um, you know, we definitely had to talk about that love and hip hop and, you know, just so much other stuff. So um, please, 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 please go and check that episode out. Um, you can see the archive live footage. Um, just go to www.sstreetmedia.info or dot net now or dot net now Ow, we getting fancy um, go to either one of those and um, just type in the house of hip hop and you'll see all my episodes but that latest one um, you can also access through my Instagram um, just click the link it's at spicy sugar 718 we had a great conversation I can't wait to do a uh, face to face sit down. When I was here, um I, I engineered the episode. Mm -hmm. Um it was a good episode. Um she's doing music which one of the songs we played um when we came um before we started speaking, we had the music playing by with DJ Shadow Bitch. Yes, right. Um Yo Yo song was the last song that we played. Yep, called Out of Control with um Featuring. Britney B and uh precious person and i'm forgetting the guy that was singing but um yeah she debuted that on the house of hip-hop what i'm gonna say this mm -hmm. um i'm gonna give it a a, a review mm -hmm. and from just me hearing it um um for the first time i mean watching the video and hearing it i'm gonna give it five gas pumps and five the gas pumps. Yeah, out five of gas pumps. No, I'm going to give it five gas pumps because um, we get to see Yo Yo's body in the <laughs> in the video. That's the best part for him. For a lot of people, you don't get to see. Peace to the God, Chili, who's watching us on our on our um live on Instagram. But Yo Yo, you don't you don't get to see Yo Yo's body too often. Yeah, and she still looks good. So. Oh, oh yes, yeah, she does. Yes, she oh, does. Yeah, she Salute does. to the Queen, the best in the West. Um. You know, with that too, you know, we talked about her staying relevant and her staying fit and, you know, whatever. She's fit. Mm -hmm. She's very fit. Yes, she is. Make sure you check out that video. What's the name of that song again? Out of Control. By Out of Yo -Yo, Control. Brittany B, Precious Pearson, and Forgive Me. And wait till you see Brittany B. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever's rapping at the, um, the last rapper. The Perfect. last female rapper at the end. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. is bad. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check out that yo yeah. yo. Salute video. to Britney B too. She's a beautiful chocolate queen. Yes, she is. <laughs> um, speaking of you know um some of the music that we played earlier, we played a song by the legendary Smooth B of Nice and Smooth. Yes, we did. Um, I'm gonna say my opinion. Um, I like the song, man. The I like the the Kendrick the Kendrick Lamarish beginning meaning a very unorthodox um hook uh -huh. going with some just old school um I'm not gonna say old school he spit it sounds very modern it sounds up to date it don't sound dated um it is dope to me um spicy sugar how you feel about it um well what's the name of it uh pardon me let me check the name of the song is uh do 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 i i you know why because smooth b before before okay before. so um it had it has it's growing on me I'm, okay i'm gonna be honest with you it's growing on me at first i was like what the hell is he doing but I, when I first heard it, I was watching the video. So I don't think I was focused in on the song. When I get to listen to it without the video, it's a different effect for me. So that's why I say it's growing on me. It's doing more for me listening to it than looking at the video. Because looking at the video, I'm still like, what? 
I'm not gonna lie to you. This um, I don't remember too many songs with just smooth beat when he was in nice and smooth. Now that's true. So this was kind of different for me. Yeah. It didn't true. sound like his normal stuff. Yes. It sounded very modern. Yes. Um, I think that's why I was throwing me off because I'm looking at him and in the video he's dressed like old smooth beat. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking he's going to sound like old Smooth B. And then when he started singing, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What is, what's, what's going on here? So I think that's why. But listening to it, um, you know, I appreciate the song. Yeah, it's different than what he, you are, you know him for. Yes, absolutely. You know, so shout out to um, Smooth B. I mm -hmm. thought that on the gram, I forgot how I found it, but it was on somebody's page. Shout out to whoever page it was on. Yeah, I saw that recently too. Um, let's get into something else. Um, you know, what about the Queen Latifah and Jada Kiss song? Oh yes, with K Slay. Oh, we did play um, mm -hmm. early um, in our in our set. We did play the the Jada Kiss, um, Queen Latifah, and Bun B song, and it's called Legend, Legend. Living Legend, Living Legend, Living Legend, Living Legend by K Slay. How you feeling about that? Um, I, I'm feeling the song. I like it. I'm happy that. Each person that's on the song is on the song. Um, I was very, you know, the queen, it is what it is, you know. She, every time she spits, I appreciate that. But I really appreciate it, like I said, off air. I appreciate it here in Bum B. I'm a, I, I'm a huge Bum B fan, you know. I loved hearing him. Um, and I just want more of Bum B. I wish he would give us more. I'm going. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I felt Bun B sounded mechanical. Mm. Um, I'm used to you know him feeling it more. It sounded like he just wrote the rhyme right before he spit it, so it didn't sound like he was. He you didn't was, think he connected with he, the um, rhyme? No, no it, it, it seemed like he just wrote the rhyme right before he said it. He's like, all right, let's go. So yeah, mm -hmm. um, I'm feeling the Queen Latifah verse. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to whoever wrote that. I mean, pardon me. Sh Oop. Shout out to Queen Latifah. You know what? <laughs> I can't. But it's she spit it. It's hard. I like it. I'm a Queen Latifah fan. Um, I um I'm since day one. Um, I think she killed the track, and I'm definitely feeling the Jada Kiss verse. You know, Jada always come through. Shout out to um K Slay, aka um Dez One. Yeah. Um, the graffiti writer. Um, he definitely um put out some good good new music yes salute to k slay and everything he's doing for the culture all right um i'm gonna leave the um um our music review yeah we're gonna post the um the, the playlist. playlist uh on you know our social media pages so just make sure you follow straight gas radio um that's a fact we have instagram and right now that's about it right yes yeah. yes 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 we have an instagram with no pictures but we are popping make sure that you <laughs> go to that instagram it's coming it's coming follow us when we get the um when we get the passcode from swift um we're going to be starting putting stuff up there um you know behind the scenes shit Salute um, to DJ Swift. And yeah, shout out to DJ it. Swift who also did an Instagram live today. Yes. Um, with um Chubby DJ Chubby Chubb. Yes. Salute to DJ Chubby Chubb, man. Yeah. If you don't know who that guy is, that's the guy behind Original Flavor. Um, he also just did other big things. Yo, he's been that. on tour like crazy. I think he's somehow connected to Fifty Cent. If I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken, he's in the um somehow um um. I am lost on that one. I am high also. But good night. Um he's definitely connected to original flavor. Um but they had a good interview on Instagram. Yeah. Make sure you check out um Respect the DJ with DJ Swift on Instagram. Um check out the um the um the story or the live on yeah. his page. It's up there. Um you know, I think DJ Swift is starting this Wednesday back at S Street with new episodes season 3. It's yes. going to be big. I am the executive producer of Respect the DJ, so yeah. I can't wait to get back into the laboratory with DJ Quest, Paris, and DJ Swift. Yes. 
one of my favorite shows besides mine. So check this out, man. Um, you know, this COVID nineteen, aka the coronavirus, is has changed our lives. Coronavirus. Yeah, facts. It has changed our lives. A lot of things have changed. And I believe the last time we we was here, we spoke about um, D Nice doing a live mm-hmm. um, DJ set for nine hours on Instagram. Mm-hmm. It set records 100K plus on um, watching him live. Um, he did another one, if I'm not mistaken, after that. Yeah. And now you got, if you want to listen to the first one, I think I go to Title or somewhere to, to, to actually listen to it now. Of course. So he, nigga, he made it. Nigga, we made it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now you have other people coming out doing the same same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, recently, one of my favorite rappers from back in the days, yes. Kwame, yes, um, did one on Instagram a few days ago. It was for his birthday. Um, it was dope. He had um, he put together a concert, yep. a live concert on Instagram with different old school legendary MCs. Yeah, um, spitting live via live instagram yes so it was dope man um it was he had um roxanne Chante. Mm-hmm. he had sweet tea he mm-hmm. had chub rock mm-hmm. he had kango kid mm-hmm. he had um special ed i believe yes master ace yes um he had a lot oh he even had the girl from if you remember his song only you only you yes she was singing her ass off too. Yeah. Tasha, which I never knew her name. Yes. Um, and I went and followed some of her stuff on YouTube. She did a lot of stuff after um fucking wet Kwame. Yes. Her 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 uh her resume or her portfolio has she has jazz music, she has house music mm-hmm. to her credits. Um, I didn't know that it was her. If I'm not mistaken, she's in the 89.9 documentary speaking. And mm-hmm. I don't think I knew who she was. And okay. she was in a documentary, um, 89.9 um, documentary with Stretch and Barbito. Oh, yeah, salute. And I believe they inter- she's, she's talking, and I didn't know who she was. And that's who she is. So that's the girl. If you watch the video, she's the one that yeah. she was part of a new a new gen- generation or a new something, a new yeah. beginning something like that that's the name of the group a Kwame new beginning, yes. a new beginning so yeah so it's crazy shout out to Kwame yes. who still looks young yes whatever he's doing to stay young yes. um keep doing it and please let us know this secret yes um <laughs> yeah he's he's um people don't know that K dot aka Kwame has produced some of the biggest hits for for other people outside of himself if you don't know, I'm not going to go into his catalog. If you want to do some research, his, uh, his other name is K-Dot. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he has produced some of the biggest hits, like, for big name, not just urban artists, but white artists also. Yes. So, yeah. Um, also on Instagram, you have a – so, as we were saying, we got all these stars going live. Yeah. And you've been seeing, like, LL talking with Noriega. Mm-hmm. Um, I seen Mike Tyson talking with Fat Joe. Um, Tons of DJs going. Yeah, all live. the DJs is going. Is, is now, now, all the DJs going live. Yeah. Now, now I'm kind of feeling like uh, the club is too packed. Yeah. <laughs> like it's too many. It's too many people uh, in the club. It's, see, um, the club is up every night. Well, I mean, I'm feeling it because you know how I feel about DJs, number one. But number two, it reminds me of the clubs where we used to have multiple floors and you can go and you want to hear some hip hop, you go to this floor. You want to go hear some reggae, you go to that floor. You want to hear some house music, you go to this floor. And then and then you got your R&B niggas and, you know, those are the dudes you could put on then do some housework around the house. That, you know, Can so. I tell you the reality, though? What? It's the same um, club, mm-hmm. but it's like going from iPhone to Android you know to, to Blackberry you know. to Chirp. Because a lot of people with connection and Wi-Fi's ain't, ain't yeah, I like, mobile. Well, and, well <laughs> listen, that's the bad thing and the good thing about free will and open wi-fi 
There are some people that are on live and even DJs that should not be on live. Yo, that's the problem. I was watching one DJ, man, the lag was so long. He came on, and the next thing you know, the lag was so long, it was over. Oh. I didn't know. He didn't hit, hit no. <laughs> you know what? The live was over? Oh, God. The, the, the lag was that long that he, Good night. he never, you never got to hear him DJ. Oh, he just wow. said, it's DJ. Good night. I'm not, I'm not. The live is over. Make sure you see, check it out on the. On the I'm thing. not dealing with you today. I don't know, man. Yeah, a lot of people don't got good Wi Fi. Um, speaking of Wi-Fi, I'm hearing that the Wi-Fi might be going down for three days. I'm not talking about no conspiracies. You didn't hear from me. You did not hear that from me. Listen. But I heard it. I don't want to know life. Not me, because I remember life before Wi-Fi and Internet. But there are people who have never lived a day in their life without the Internet or Wi-Fi, so I feel really bad for those three days. I'm just gonna sleep those three days away. Don't worry about it. It's just a conspiracy theory. I don't think there's any truth to it. I don't know. You know, I, hey. I, I don't think there's any truth remember to it. Remember the days when the AOL man wouldn't run across the screen? I remember them days. So. Oh man, I remember. I remember. I used to steal all the um, free discs on next to the um, the mailbox. So I could get everybody's order. You know what? So you can get all the free <laughs> The free trials. AOL. I didn't pay for AOL for like three years. You know what? I can't. <laughs> you must have 1,300 Accounts. emails. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. I remember those days. Free free internet. Good night. Free internet. That was the good old 2000s, early 2000s. Good night. Um, yeah, man. It's crazy, man. This COVID-19... You know, speaking of some of the um, the things that's going going down right now, just to update y'all, um, New York is is on top with um, infections and death when it comes to this virus. Um, that is a fact. At least that's what I've I've read. Um, also, you know. Um, China is is starting to curve theirs now. Yeah, people are in, a, a lot of people are in recovery now. That's a fact. And China is giving a lot of information to us on how to um, fight the virus. Um, you have also, you know, uh, the stimulus package was signed now uh, for people to receive some monies. Um, the exact facts on it, I don't know. I'm hearing dudes might be getting around twelve hundred dollars. So what I heard is twelve hundred dollars per person, five hundred dollars per kid, and then there's something else. Um, let me say this: um, five hundred for a kid, per kid, per kid. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I got, I got about 12 kids. You know what? <laughs> I'm not dealing with him. You know what? Is he going to do this like tax time? I don't file taxes. I'm just joking. But are well, we going to do this like tax time? Because if it's 500 kids, man, you're going to have some, some 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 of these dudes coming with 20. 20. I got 20 kids, baby. That's all, all mine. First That's of all, my DNA, baby. $1,200 per person for me is an insult because I live in New York City. And $1,200 doesn't even pay a month of rent. That's a fact. So you're still old a week. Yeah, <laughs> you're still old like three. Depending on where you live, you might owe a whole another half of that. Now, if you live in the Bronx, you just pay two months of rent. Right. What are you talking about? Right, right. But or Middle America. But I live in New York City, and um, that is not even paying rent. I have no kids, so I don't get the five hundred, and. I feel like that is bad because I'm going to be, I know me, I'm going to be out of work for a while. And there's a lot of other people that are in my same position. So $1,200 is nothing. That's a fact. You can't even buy a pound these days with $1,200. Um, Not of that loud. Um, That's a fact. Okay. Work. Okay. Should be like. Psh. Allegedly. No, I'm talking about facts, man. You go to oh. these dispensaries. You can't well, buy. I'm talking about the legal weed. Oh, okay. Um, you can't buy a pound for twelve hundred in dispensaries. You paying something like yeah, twenty five hundred or something like yeah. that, close to. So Especially yeah, with that tax. According, according to Colorado. 
Right, right. right. according to the legal <laughs> states. You dig where I'm coming from? But yeah, 1200 ain't nothing, man. Uh -uh. Um, and when I was sniffing coke, man, 1200 was two nights <laughs> and a blowjob. Good night. Pardon me. Good night. Uh, check this out. Uh, nah, damn, I'm messing up because we supposed to be. We might gonna be on regular radio. Um, shout out to Doctor <laughs> B. My bad, DJ Doctor B. Make sure you check. Um, take out my curses. I apologize. I am on point now. I'm on point. I'm on point. No more. With no, ten minutes ago, no I'm playing. No more cursing. <laughs> no more cursing. My bad. But it, yeah, this 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 thing is 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 getting kind of crazy, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I haven't been in quarantine um, like they say you're supposed to be in quarantine. Meaning that if I'm not here at the station, I'm home. So mm -hmm. I'm semi-quarantined, yeah. you know. But, um, you know, I'm just, I'm, it's, all this information that's coming out has me confused. Mm -hmm. You know, the, um, the reaction of the people um, that surround me has me confused. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on. They got fake news. They got real news. Yeah. You know. It's hard to decipher. It's crazy, man. I'm not going to get into no conspiracy theories and stuff like that. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's getting crazy, man. A lot of people are, uh, a lot of our, our black people and brown people and people who don't have money are losing our grandmothers, our mothers, mm -hmm. our grandfathers, our fathers um, to this, you know? So yeah. it's affecting a lot of people. There's a lot of emotion mixed up into this, you know what I mean? So um, I hope that um, we could get past this. Yeah. I hope we could get past this. I know we could get past this, but... This is crazy, man. The, um, life would never be the same. Yeah. I'm going to say that. Life would never be the, um, be the same. So let's talk about some positive stuff. Okay. Um, I, oh, let's say funny stuff. Okay. Um, Lamar Odom. Oh, God. <laughs> Lamar Odom does an interview um, on Drink Champs. Did you see it? Yes. I saw clips of it. I didn't see the whole thing, but I did see the clip, major clips of it. I, I watched like an hour and a half of it. It's like a two-hour episode, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I, wa I watched like an hour and a half. I think it was a very interesting episode um, in, in regards to I believe that Lamar Odom is a deeper dude than he, he seems. And he's portraying himself. Too. Yeah, I, I think that he's very just laid back. Very, he's used to a lot of things just coming to him. He's mm -hmm. a you know he's been the man for for years. Oh, wow. yeah. So um, I think he's just really laid back. But I, I can tell that he's highly intelligent because mm -hmm. even when him not saying too many words, his body language and look mm -hmm. told you a lot. Yeah. It told you a lot. Like, he'll say something, and he'll just give a look and move a certain way, and you knew what he was talking about. Like, yeah, I understand. Especially if you're from the street. That's a fact. So, <laughs> it was a great interview. Um, there's a lot of controversy mm -hmm. over the video. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he's not, sub he's not a drug user anymore. Meaning that he don't drink, he don't smoke. So he's, from what I understand, he's supposed to be in recovery. Yes, he don't. He he he's not um, mandated by no no system, mm -hmm. but I think that um, he wasn't using um, alcohol or, or or smoking prior to the drink champs, and on the drink champs, he mm -hmm. drank a lot of Tiger Bomb. Bone, oh, tiger bone, yeah, a lot, and he was smoking some of that, that, that thugged out, Ooh, that, that whatever Norvie's weed is called. Oh, he have no. his own strand. Um, shout out to Noriega, yes. um, um, who did it, who I believe did a great interview, and I gotta hit your weed. I'm yes. a weed connoisseur, and the Straight Gas Radio are connoisseurs. Mm -hmm. So please make sure you get us a pack so we can let our peoples know how what? great that reefer is. Yeah, what it do, what it do. So, yeah, um, how you felt about the interview? I mean, I, it was interesting. The clips I saw, you know. I, I oh, yeah, yeah, the clips that you've seen. Well, I've seen the major parts of it. 
And um, I felt it was really interesting because, um, you know, I know a few people that know Lamar Odom personally. And to see him, you know, in the interview, it was like, hmm, you know, like you said, I understand what you mean by you saying that uh, he, you know, seems like he's portraying himself to be kind of a little dumbed down from the person that he normally is. Yeah, I, I believe he's very smart. Yeah. Very, very um, I do believe them Kardashians got his head all scrambled up, though. I do believe that. Well, if he was getting exotic, doo -doo, like you know that, <laughs> it will, it, it, that you, it messed up a lot of people's minds. It's, it's not just but a, it's, it's something about it's them. Not Look at a, all the men. It's I'm not just the dodo, but it's dodo that it's dodo that's expensive. You know, <laughs> it's expensive dodo. Like, um, let me give an example. You could have Moet. Oh God. Or you could have pink champagne. It's the same thing. They do the same things. They do the same things, but the expensive yeah, one is just, it just make you feel a little bit better that you're drinking the expensive one. Oh my God. That's it. It's nothing special about the expensive one. But, but, it but at you least a little bit better. At least they don't leave your life and your reputation devastated afterwards. Oh, man. And look at all the men. Look at all the men that's been around the Kardashians. The main one turned into a woman. Like, look at this. Well, let me say this. What about the men that dealt with Diana Ross? Listen. Some of the men that, that dealt with Diana Ross that lost their mind. Listen. Um, some I of the can men, name quite a some few of, of men, those. Some of the men that dealt with Erica Badu. Listen. That I don't lost know. their mind. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure that one out. The so, chick got... I'm, so I'm, I'm just saying, though, know, out there it, sold out. Kardashians so. is not the only ones known for making the black men go crazy. Yeah, I mean, she, they've made all races go crazy. Anybody that come around, Diana Rose too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Shout out to the guy who started Motown Records. Oh, you know what? Shout out to... <laughs> I forgot his name. Barry Gordy? Shout out to Barry Gordy. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Biggest um, No disrespect was. to um, Diana Ross. I love her. Um, I love her daughter. <laughs> I know, yeah. We are, I but love for different Tracy. reasons. The, I'm just... I'm a comedian and on this show, so I tell jokes. So... I know we this, love y'all. No disrespect to salute to the queen and salute to the princess. Yes, Erica Badu got that thing that that made guys go crazy Listen, too. Listen, I told you her incense is sold out. What you say? Her, her insides tota. is sold out. Her incense. She got oh, total incense of her, <laughs> yes. She <laughs> has incense that is supposed to be the fragrance of her tota. Oh man, I gotta get me a candle. And it's been sold out. I gotta get me a candle. A, a candle. The incense. Oh, incense. Yeah. Oh man, I gave me you a couple of wanna, packs. You oh, just want to condense it all into a no, candle. No, no, I thought it was, huh? I thought it was a, like a candle or something. I gotta give me a couple of packs then. You want to choke your candle? I want. I, I need it. I need my room, the bathroom, the living room to smell like. I, Erica Just was her? like Erica was here. Oh, good night. Like Erica was here, walking around the, on a handstand like? with her legs Erica wide open. What, what what does it smell like in here? Erica was here. Bunani. I wonder about the guys that dream while that incense is lit. Listen, something is, it's something because look at the trail. Look at the victims. Lord. Jay Electronica, um, my man, Andre uh, 3000. Oh, man. And and or common sense and uh, um, the, who's not the baby father, but the other baby father is DJ um, Diggy Diggy Doc, y'all. Yeah. It's Puma, Seven, and Mars. Mm -hmm. I believe Seven is Andre 3000. I believe Puma is DJ Doc, down Diggy Doc. And I believe Mars is um, J Electronica, mm -hmm. which is, I wish my son had ill name like that. <laughs> what is going on? All them names was like Illmatic. Shout out yeah. to, shout out to all those. Um, shout out to the parents who thought of those. Right. You know what I mean? Those is fly. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. So let's go and move on to some other things, man. Um, you said that 
iHeart through a concert recently, right? Yeah, yeah. I was. We were talking about that off air. Yeah, um, um, actually, uh, salute to Seventeen Eighteen Collective. Oh, that's Sosa. the one who said it. Yeah, Sosa was um, talking about it. <laughs> With um, some really big names. Yeah, like Elton Bob. John was one, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Billie Eilish. Um, who else was there? So many. He was rattling off mad names. Whoever got some info on the iHeart concert, let us know. Um, Sosa, one who t who's the one who told us, he bounced out of here before he could explain to us much details. Mm -hmm. But yeah, shout out to Sosa um, in the 1718 Collective. Um you know, another interview that I seen recently that I was really feeling oh. was the Jazz O on Drink Champs. Oh yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um interview. Mm hmm Nori conducted it well and yeah. DJ Effin. Yeah. They got into some controversial stuff too. Very controversial. Mm -hmm. Um very controversial. Without without stepping on nobody's toes or, or anybody should be feeling anyway. Yeah, right. But they did. He Nori, you know, salute to him because he did ask the question that I wanted to know, which was about Jazzo Ratten. That's what I want. About what you want, Jazzo Ratten? I missed that part. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta. Go. I'm not gonna say nothing then. You got. But no, he, let's speak about well, it. Well, he spoke it. on it. He was. I like, missed that part. Yeah, he spoke on it. You know, he was like, you know, he explained the to make a long story short, he explained, the, you know, the What's the story? I can't remember it in detail. So basically, how how did he come up, his name saying that he was writing? So it was one of those situations where um, he was explaining it kind of from a third per person. Um, but he was, he kind of got, he kind of walked in to uh, you know how those situations where you walk into something that was already in play and then you're like oh shit what the fuck and and excuse me and you're kind of mixed into it but really have nothing to do with it that's crazy i got i definitely now i watched it and i missed that part yeah yeah he was because he said you know they thought i read it but it really I, it, I really didn't say nothing. And Nori was like, whoa. You know how he do. He's so good. That's crazy. I got to check that out. Did you see the 50 Cent is beefing with, um, oh, this is that South Side, North Side shit too. Um, 50 Cent is beefing with um, the young boy Trav. So you, you, I didn't see it, but you, we were talking about it. Um, you have to explain it to me. Cause All right. So 50 Cent put a picture up on his Instagram and it said um he's a good boy he's a picture picture of trav mm -hmm. he's a good boy he's not a tough guy and he's just trying to do music he just have a problem doing it right oh, oh. yeah so um trav responds the next day live on instagram which mm -hmm. is on youtube now mm -hmm. And he kind of just blows up a lot of 50 Cent um, secrets. Mm. Um, 50 Cent is getting steroids, shots in his ass on a regular basis. He was there. He Ooh. seen it. Where's my popcorn? Um, slow Bucks. He, um, 50 Cent was jealous over Slow Bucks because Slow Bucks um, shit popped off. And mm. Rick Ross and um, and DJ Khaled had the Slow Bucks shirt on. Mm -hmm. So he plotted on having um, Slow Bucks robbed for his AP Roly. A dude named Monster, never heard of him, but that's um, no disrespect to Monster, but um, some dude Monster, he tried, he wanted to set set him up with um, Monster to, to rob him. Um, also, that uh, it was just a lot of crazy, like Fifty Cent being jealous over other people's shit. Um, Does this surprise you? <laughs> me, um, yes. yes, yes. I'm gonna say this, man, and. I never, I'm, and I'm going to say this, um, when you get to a certain level, like, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say this, I'm not, I'm not at no level, right. but I don't hate on no one who's doing what they do. Enemy of friend. You know what I mean? If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Don't come, don't do your shit by me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to hate on what you're doing. Meaning that, um, 
a lot of people who I don't mess with now, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know that I don't mess with them. Right. I understand. You know? So, with the 50 Cent is different on that note. But he is super petty. He's, like, super petty. He's a cancer. He's super petty. So... This doesn't not to, say, not, not, to, not to say that a cancer is petty, but he's he's a cancer. He, no, fifty. I'm saying fifty cent is super petty, and so when you kind of curve him, he is gonna do the pettiest thing he can possibly do to get back at someone. So this scenario doesn't surprise me about him. I don't, level or no level, he has not let go of the pettiness. He's still a troll. On social media so him setting all of that up against yeah I, I could believe that um yeah it was crazy man you gotta check it out if you don't want to go to go to um YouTube check out Trav dissing 50 cent is a good it's a good um good little thing to watch I, gotta I, check that I don't believe everything I'll be I'll be hearing and watching but it's entertaining is that insane? That's all we got right now. Salute to all the DJs and entertainers and artists and everybody that you know has a gift to share. That's been going live on so on various social media platforms because, um, you know, we, if we didn't have music, if we didn't have art, and we didn't have spoken word, you know, things like that. This coronavirus. Uh, situation would be so much more difficult to bear right now so um you know i'm loving it thank you so much keep it going um but people please realize if you really deserve or need to be live because some of the stuff that i'm seeing on social media is absolutely horrendous <laughs> Yeah, shout out to all the strippers again. You know what? Um, shout out to all the strippers. Shout out to um all the women who are losing their mind in their crib and now no, are taking a, off their clothes. Th that's the opposite of what I was saying. Oh no, oh, no, I'm just saying what I'm saying. Shout out to all the women in the crib who's entertaining us with their inner selves with their inner parts because that's no, what's happening <laughs> they, they, they inner selves you know what i mean letting the tiger out no they letting the tiger out for us for free mm. for free man i'm gonna say this man she's not answering my dms but her her live footage is definitely porno worthy you know what I'm not Shout out to all the good girls gone bad because of the COVID. You know what? Coronavirus. <laughs> Coronavirus. But um, well. yeah, shout out to all them ladies that's that's given um like little boozy. Um oh, God. he's going ham right now. Put your put put your lips put your lips on the on 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 live. Put your uh, lips I'll on give you a thousand dollars. Lord. He just does not know when to sit down. He was already Go sit down before now. He needs to have several seats. Yo, shout out to Boozy who's entertaining us the right way. No, <laughs> the right way. Don't encourage. I mean, Sh I shout out to what you call it too. No. What's the dude from Canada that rap like he's from um United States? Um, he, he's not Drake. <laughs> not what's the dude? He got he, he got his hairline did in. Oh. Um, but if T, his hairline. Today. He All this, I can think of is LeBron. Yo, this guy. <laughs> what's the What's the rapper man that do the sing along shit? He's big. It's It's the nigga. It's the dude from Texas that's big, right? What's the Texas guy? Um, Astro. Astro. Um, he's married. To, he was having sex with Kylie. Yeah. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. All right. Okay. Who's the other one that's like him in Canada? It's not Drake. It's another dude. He um he had his hairline did in. He just punched somebody on camera. Oh um. He is threw all baby, the girl the songs. Not not the baby. No, baby's um, from Atlanta. Um. What is this dude name? I feel so bad, yeah, and I gotta check the, the yeah, I know. and I gotta go t change my. I gotta go onto my phone, and I'm live. Yeah. Um. But yeah, 
he's been going ham. He had Megan and Sal- Stallion um, twerking. Oh, um, he's well, it, she can't do nothing else right his now. His has so. been crazy. Damn, I forgot this dude's name. Not Jonah Lucas, not Drake. The other one. That other one. The other one. Oh, that's bad, man. And he's probably <laughs> going to hear this and think that I don't know who he is. I know who you are. I like your music. It's dope. Um, Industry shit. There's a... Pardon me. There's a dude out here um, named Young Chop. Mm-hmm. If you don't know who Young Chop is, Young Chop is a, um, a producer from Chicago. He produced for Chief Keef, um, a lot of his hits. Um, and... He is going in on the industry. Um, Gilly the Kid oh, had yeah. him. Gilly the Kid had him on, on his live, mm. and he was calling everybody like scary, not scary in a in a in a killer way, but scary in you a scared guy. Like you're a punk. Yes, and he put Meek into this category. He put French Montana into this category. He put um, the Migos and yeah. Offset into this into this category. Didn't he say he had a fight with one of them? Or um, no, he said that somebody had a fight with them. Oh, somebody. Um, did. with Offset and then not, oh, Baby, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. He said Baby, the little the the Baby is a real dude. He's um and you know he's beefing with a lot of people. He's it's lot it's a lot of stuff. If you check it if you check it out, go to Young Chop on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. there's a Gilly the um, Gilly the Kid interview. Um there's him that's going on his Instagram live calling out people on a regular basis. He's calling everybody soft. Um He throwing mad shit. I think Lil Dirk is the only person Lil Dirk is the only person that he didn't um go against Good if i'm God. not mistaken but check out young chop a lot of controversy behind this one boy oh boy but here's another one drake finally shows the world his son he takes a picture with his son um and you know from what i'm hearing a lot of people was joking about the picture listen First of all, the baby looks like his like his mom's exactly exactly like the, his mom. the male version of his mom's. So when you see the picture, remember I said that he looks exactly like his grandmother. Now, how old is his son now? He looks about two and a half, three maybe. Okay. I don't know. This looks he looks about that. He looks old. about that. A real. Let me say this: a cute kid. A cute kid, man. Just like I, I really see um, children that that's not cute. He's a cute kid. Um, you know what I mean? Looks like a happy kid, man. So you know, but they they are joking. They are joking. The industry is joking. I'm not gonna joke on the kid. Um, I I would joke on the relationship though. Yeah. <laughs> because. If I'm not mistaken, she is a lady of the night. Yeah, she's a stripper. Yes, she's a lady of the night. And Listen, Drake the, was running around smashing everything. So Hey, I'm like T-Pain, man. I ain't scared to sing about being in love with a stripper. I'm in love with a stripper. Yeah, I'm in love with a stripper. What's the girl name from hip, Love and Hip Hop? I always forget her name. Which one? The buck tooth one. We Johnny just, Blaze. Yeah. Shout out to Johnny you know what? Blaze. <laughs> Johnny Blaze. I don't care about her history. I don't care who she dealt with. She is um, grade A married uh, marrying material. Oh, you know what? That's your marrying material? Yeah, I don't care, man. I, I marry, I marry um, gold diggers. Good. <laughs> At least you know what they're here for. At least you know what they're here for. I'm gonna keep the money, uh, so know. I ain't losing her. Mm-mm. You got it's the it's them dudes that don't can't keep the money that worry about the gold diggers. What woman ain't a gold digger? Huh, boy? I guess they wanna stay in the projects their whole life. You know what? Or do they I have dreams not. of mansions and flights? And kites. The life of a thought is not the way to live. That's not a thoughtish. A uh, gold digger is a person who says, I want to live and do the things that I'm supposed to be 
do it. And I'm going to use this tota to get it. <laughs> yep. And as long as you got the money there, you are in. Let me say this. A lot of people are married to gold diggers and don't know it. Yeah, well, hey. They know it. They just can't do it. Oh, no. They don't know it. They think that the girl is there for them. There's a I mean, lot of them. Some. There's a lot of them. I know a, a couple myself oh. who think that they are Don Juan. You but know they what? don't know that, that it's the dollars. <laughs> need a nap. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, shout out to Drake. And it's how you feeling about Did you see the picture? No, I didn't see the picture. But, you know. I guess I can die a happy woman now. Like, who cares? Huh? Uh, they think this whole baby, like, showing the pinky thumb, pinky of the thumb. Oh, y'all, I'm taking a picture of my baby. Shit, yeah, get out of here, man. Okay. People have babies every day, B. That's a fact. <laughs> also, Cardi B and um, Cardi B um, catches on film, allegedly, um, offset cheating again during the coronavirus. Yeah, this is recent. This is on camera. This um, he just cannot keep it. In his nah, he didn't. Get, he didn't call. He got caught on the phone. He got caught on the phone. On the phone. He didn't get caught literally. But I mean, he he just can't. He just can't. This is what happened. He has his phone out. He's playing video games. He's doing what he's doing on the phone or some sneaky shit. Cardi B is calling him from another room. You can hear her. She's walking to the room, towards the room, and he's he tries to get the phone in his pocket real quick. It doesn't go in his pocket real quick. She comes into the picture. Um, he talks with her. Ah, ah, she walks back out, and then he's back on the video game, and I think back on the phone, smirking type of thing. The person who he's playing in the video game, or I'm I'm assuming, sees him through the video game. His camera is on his TV, and it sees it catches the whole act on camera. Whose camera is it? I don't know. Was it Cardi B's and his? Or was it the person he's playing the game against? I don't know. But it's caught on tape. It's stupid, though. Stupid. Like, how blatant is that? That's crazy. You know why it's bad? Because she's not the gold digger. You know what I mean? Like, he got someone who actually likes the nigga. I'm not going to lie to you. I felt bad about that one. You know why? Because I thought it was some young love shit. But just like every young of us, young one of us, like myself, mm -hmm. at 21, who had the best girlfriend or a guy I could have and stuck his tutu in every place that a girl allowed him to, <laughs> it, did, it was a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens. You always get the good ones when you're young. Uh, By the time you get past 35, uh, if they still in the same position, oh man, he's like a race for the end. Like, let me get somebody before I die. What? what? <laughs> See, that is why I cannot. I don't want to die alone. They want to wait till they like 57. I don't want to die like, alone. I want to settle down. What? That's right. Tony Randall. I'm having a kid at 66. Oof. <sighs> no. I'm only gonna see my my kid for four years, and I'm gonna die. You know what, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get ready to close out. We got about four, three and a half minutes. Okay. Um, because he needs a nap. Yeah. Um. <laughs> t t today was straight gas radio shit. Straight gas. Yeah. Um. Thank you to um, 905 FM mm -hmm. for allowing us to have this platform. Yeah. Shout out to Instagram, my Instagram live for watching us. I only have one person. Shout out Chili. <laughs> 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 I had one person on my live. Um, shout out to um, 
everyone who helped us at S Street Media put this thing together, whether mm-hmm. it be Roach, Jenna Hirsch, yes. um, Sosa, yeah. um, the Thunny Browns, the Stuck Bees, mm-hmm. the Act Right TVs, right. the Everyone's, man, the, the Everyone's, the Ebony's, the, um, the Rebecca's, everyone who helped put this together, um, especially in these times, the ones who are still around. You know what I mean? I appreciate you. Salute to you, mathematics, for real. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Salute to you. Uh, Hey, salute to Spicy Sugar. Salute to Spicy Sugar. Where can they find you at? They're looking for you. Well, you can find me at Spicy Sugar 718 on Instagram and Twitter. The House of Hip Hop Podcast Show on Facebook, YouTube, and um, what's the other thing? The new one that we just started, Anchor. Anchor, anchor, yeah. anchor, anchor. And you can also find my archive live footage from the House of Hip Hop on sstreetmedia.info and sstreetmedia.net. You can find me on s underscore street underscore media. You can find me on at the Vandal Hour on Instagram also. And you could find me at my crib on quarantine <laughs> That's while right. this show is not on you can watch the old episodes of straight gas radio that's right go to s street go to s street media on instagram hit the link in the bio um and check out all the dope shows that we have if you are looking to do a show we mm-hmm. need you all to Go to www.streetmedia.net. Um, you can email us. Let us know um, that you want to do a show. We need all the dope media personalities to come to us. Yes, join us, join us, join to us. To come to us. You can also catch me at your local weed spot. You know what? I'm not dealing with you no more tonight. Shout out to the Bud Man. Listen, everybody. That essential worker. That yes. essential worker, yes. the Bud Man. Yes. It has been sanctioned. That's Dispensaries a fact. is an essential business. Um, I just want to say before we head out, want to give everybody, you know, peace, love, light, you know, understanding of the times, and just be safe, be knowledgeable, be conscious, you know, stay woke, you know, be aware of, you know, the fake news, educate yourself. That's a fact. Yeah, educate yourself um, correctly. And, um, you know, just... Fight the power. Yeah, be diligent, man. You know, just make sure you focus on your immune system and um, don't be around people you don't know. Peace to the gods and earths and all the positive people in the universe. I am Mathematics Diet Spicy Sugar, Uh and we are Straight Straight Gas Radio. Radio. Peace. Peace.